A typical walk down the street feels more like swimming in a dark shark tank that is at least 50% blood by the time you dive in. The fear of teeth keeps you moving fast and, more real, the fear of unkind hands. Every sidewalk is a back street when rape is the subtext of every cat call. This body is more alien than that terror that gnaws the edges of your eyes, saying look behind you when you are alone on the street. My index and middle fingers are tattooed with the ridges of house keys. My brain inked by innovative, innovative ways to use every piece of clothing I am wearing as weapons. This body means that emotions are side effects of fertility, just to be dealt with until complacency returns. Means nipples are safe on everyone but you. Your body is a bad word spoken in hushed rooms, vandalized bathroom stalls, and shouted in bars. My body is a scream muffled by harnesses and a whisper barely overheard. Wolves trick to believe they are sheep, forget their teeth, and those who remember are the scourge of the hunters. But I am not your drugged up fox on a hunt. I am not your motherboard made of only turn ons and turn offs. I am not a walking hot singles in your area ad. And I am not an economic commodity with a heartbeat. And being a feminist means trying to make the wolves believe in their own ferocity, struggling not to squeal when the big black boots try to squash you, pushing my own damn buttons, thank you very much. And sometimes it's you throwing up your middle finger and saying fuck you at that image of what everyone thinks you should be lounging across a billboard on the interstate. It means that when you throw up that middle finger, you try not to look at the imprint of your house key on the callous skin.